Veronica? I is it really you? Huh? S Serena? You're both here. Oh, thank heavens. I've been so lonely in this horrible, cold, miserable place all by myself. Now you're here, can I ask you something? Can I ask you to die? You'll do that for me, won't you? I mean, I had to die and you didn't. That can't be fair, can it? So come on, what do you say? Will you die for me or not? I wanted to live, but because of you, I couldn't. So let's even things up. Come on, drop dead! Phantom, dark intrusion, light dispel this black illusion. Veronica would never have said such awful things. Go on, be off with you. <laughs> She didn't regret a thing. I know she didn't. She died with hope in her heart. Hope that we would bring back the light. Uh, hmm. This is your doing. I sense it. Jasper, show yourself! <laughs> Still, you speak of hope? Of light? Even now, with one of your little band beyond saving, your faith is sickening. <laughs> My dear Hendrik, still you cling stubbornly to life. You never did know when to give up. Yet another virtue to despise in you. You come here seeking an audience with my master, I suppose. Well, I'm afraid I shall have to disappoint you. I would ask you to leave politely. But we both know you are too pig-headed to listen. And besides, I would not want your journey to have been in vain. Surpassed you at last! Fool! You have surpassed me in wickedness and naught else! Bold words indeed! But you will pay for them with your life! I shall offer up your broken bodies in tribute to Almighty Mordigan!
besides. Among demons, supreme commander of the spectral sentinels, how could mere humans defeat me? Again, you surpass me. Again, you outdo me. Again, you. You leave me behind! Hmm. The more you bathe in glory, the more brightly you shone, the more I receded into shadow. Do you know what it was that I always wanted? I've wanted to be 
like you.